Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Orange Line. I'm Justin Hauser. And I'm Zach Rocky. For this week's first story, a few Greek organizations on campus hosted their philanthropy events this weekend. Our very own Rena Murphy has more. This past weekend, Alpha Chi Omega and Sigma Phi Epsilon took part in their annual Spiking Out tournament, which raises money for domestic violence awareness. Eight teams signed up to play. There were seven players on each team, and registration was $50. The event raised $460 total. Zeta Tau Alpha also held a kickball tournament this past Sunday to raise money to support breast cancer awareness. Four teams played in the tournament, which allowed them to raise $451. It was a successful weekend of events for good causes. Rena Murphy, KMBU TV. Thanks, Rena. Up next, I had a chance to look at what's going on in the fitness center. Everyone has heard about the freshman 15 you put on your first year of college. Most people would go to the fitness center to work out and prevent this addition of weight. Here at Baker University, the fitness center is old and some equipment doesn't work. I had the chance to sit down with a Baker student to find out his thoughts on the new equipment. I'm actually pretty stoked about the new equipment. Um, you know, I, I go into the, to the fitness center every now and then just to get some running on when, uh, you know, when it doesn't feel like it's a good day to go outside and do it. And, and uh, there's just not enough equipment now to where everyone that wants to be able to, to get on the equipment has the ability to. So I think It's hard to get a good run in during the winter months. When you add the fact that the fitness center has broken treadmills, it makes working out during the cold months bothersome for some students. The equipment in the fitness center now isn't the best. Um, it, um, I think uh, the new equipment is, is you know, anything new is going to be a, a big improvement from, from what we have in, in the, the fitness center now. And, and I think that the people that, that are going to use it are definitely going to be able to notice the change. The new equipment will be leased by the school with an option to buy when the lease is up. Baker is expected to have the equipment on campus this summer. This has been Justin Hauser, KNBU TV. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but stay tuned for more Orange Line. Welcome back to Orange Line. The first event of Greek Week is Mr. BU. Our very own Alex Scove has more. Singing. Dancing. Comedy. Mr. BU had it all on Monday night. The annual event includes a representative from each Greek house competing in swimwear and question and answer categories. From there, the group is narrowed down to five participants who face off in a talent competition. Even with the fun, Mr. BU finalist Blake Stanwood recognizes the overall importance of the event. It shows how strong we are as a great community. Not only do we have one house compete, like one house there, all Greek houses are there, fraternities and sororities, and just shows their support for the campus and their involvement. Although it marks the beginning of Greek week, Mr. BU doesn't apply just to fraternity and sorority members. It's just kind of a way to get the whole campus involved and to come to an event and see what the Greeks actually do. And it's also just a fun thing for them to come witness. What students witnessed was a number of spirited performances that conveyed the overall feeling of the event. Everybody was pretty lighthearted backstage about it. Nobody was really too serious, so it was just a good time. Adding to that atmosphere were Robert Woodall, Alex Bulk, Eric Reimer, Taylor Kopp, and KNBU's own Alex Dingman, who also made the final cut. Alex Scove, KNBU TV. Thanks, Alex. Stay tuned next week to find out who won Mr. BU. Up next, Kelsey Epperson is on location at Collins Gym. On Sunday, May 17th, Baker University seniors will enter Collins Gymnasium for the last time as students and exit for the first time with diplomas and the official title of alumni. With this date just around the corner, Baker seniors are cramming to get things done while still dealing with the anticipation of graduation. And, as graduation does near quickly, some seniors already have graduation presents and post-graduation plans. Senior Luke Kalovich says his graduation present is already in the works. After graduation, me and Alex Dingman, uh, it started out sort of as a, as a joke, like we should go to Europe and, and turn into, that'd be a great idea. So we're going to leave May 19th to fly to London, and then we're going to go to Paris, Germany, Italy, Spain, and then end the trip in the Netherlands and Amsterdam. Kalovich explained the trip was a gift from both his parents and Dingman's parents for graduating in four years from Baker. Kalovich says he is ready to graduate and begin his trip. I'm really just looking forward to graduation and getting out of Baldwin. I mean, the atmosphere around here has changed a little bit in four years, so it's just a little less fun, you know, in these last couple of years. 
So just getting out of Baldwin and seeing a different culture. I mean, over there, they've been around for thousands of years living the way they live, and I think it'll be a great experience to get out of Baldwin City, Kansas, you know, and see the world a little bit. Like Kalovich, senior Heath Baird will also be taking a trip after graduation. However, Baird's trip to Mexico will be slightly different. Uh, definitely going to get busy, uh, graduate on the 17th and then get married May 30th. And then uh, right after that, we're going on a one week uh, honeymoon to Riviera Maya, Mexico. And then uh, actually just had my last interview today um, with a software company up in Overland Park. So uh, that went well. I got the job offer, and so I'll be starting that June 15th. Bayard said although graduation and the weeks to follow will be busy for him, he feels prepared to graduate and is looking forward to what is to come. Um, actually, I mean, it's a little overwhelming, but most of the wedding stuff is pretty much planned out and ready to go. It's just a matter of time, you know, getting it over with. Everything is pretty much uh, good to go there. School-wise, it's I've um, got most of my two biggest projects done with and over, so maybe just have one or two more uh, projects coming up and then a couple big tests, so it, it's actually uh, not going as bad as it, you know, you might think. Senior Taylor Glessner's story is slightly different. Instead of a unique post-graduation gift, Glessner begins a summer internship at the Walmart corporate office at 7 a.m. the day after graduation. I actually have to go down like the week before graduation and get my apartment all completely set up. Um, that I have down there in Arkansas and then come back for finals week. Um, I'll probably go down this Saturday before graduation because I have to like check in with Walmart and um, do stuff at the corporate office and come back for stag and graduation. I'm gonna have like a short graduation party like right after um, graduation and then after that I have to jet down that night um, to get to work because I'll have to be there at 7 a.m. the next morning so I'm gonna go down there that night, get down there late so I can get a little bit of sleep before the first day of work. <laughs> So what do these three think about the conclusion of their college experiences? I'm excited to get out of here. I'm tired of all the schoolwork or whatever, so it'll be nice to be done with it. Um, I'm really excited about graduation, um, mostly because all the term papers and group projects and tests will be over with. But um, just in general, it's kind of nervous, but I think I'm ready to finally graduate and leave Baker. It's bittersweet just because you have the whole your time to grow up, you know, now you got to get a job. And I mean, I've been here for four years and I still don't know exactly what I want to do with my life, but it's cool. I mean, as I said, Baker's changed a little bit, so it's kind of good to get out of here when, you know, the fun sort of run away. But yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting and bittersweet because you're going to leave somewhere that you've been for four years. But again, you're starting, you know, something new. And I mean, we're all friends, like, you know, Dingman and some other guys that we're going to still be in touch, so it's really not that big deal, but it's fun. It's exciting. Commencement for the College of Arts and Sciences, Undergraduate School of Education, and School of Nursing begins at 1 p.m. May 17th, right here in Collins Center. I'm Kelsey Epperson, KNBU-TV. Thanks for that, Kelsey. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but stay tuned for more Orange Line.